Welcome back everybody to the channel here on the Tyler Killer Show. I've got more Tyler Killer Podcast Extra. This is your second one for this weekend before Fast Lane tonight. Um uh there's just some little topics I want to talk about. Oscar again. She is now at an undefeated streak of 153-0. to zero. That's amazing. That's really good. And, um, I don't see no one beating that streak unless it's Amber Moon. I'm just going to tell you that straight out. No way Oscar should lose or will lose unless it's Amber Moon. And I don't think... They might be setting it up for WrestleMania weekend, her and Ember Moon, but I don't think they that's when she should go down. But they've been talking about her undefeated streak a lot lately, so it might happen. Four years ago today, we lost a great one in Mr. Paul Bear. Um, you know, he did a lot for Undertaker, Kane, their careers with that urn being a badass manager and all this other stuff sad that it is four years to the day today that he did die um so Lita was in the news today she has unretired um do you guys, I, I don't know, she was at MCW, which they do follow me on uh, Twitter. I think it was MCW, or it might have been something else, but it was something with CW. I think it was MCW, so she fought her fought another match, and she says she has unretired. So could we see Lita back in WWE here soon? Um, there has been not a big word on that, but I could very well see it. I could very well see it. And, um, who knows? We could see her facing against Charlotte, Sasha, Bailey, Becky, maybe even Mickey. On Smack, I mean, Alexa, but you got so many matchups, very good matchups for Lita. That she could do, um, she could fight any one of them. And everything. Um, Sasha Banks, uh, th this is unreal. This is unheard of. What I saw and heard from Sasha Banks. Now, this is what she said. Sasha Banks believes Monday Night Raw is better than SmackDown Live. Well, honey, I know you're on Raw, but that doesn't mean you... I mean, that doesn't mean you can just outright lie to us. Really, it's better than SmackDown Live. Raw is. <sighs> no. No, it's not even close to SmackDown Live. Not even close. And, um, I, I, you know, I can't believe Sasha Banks would say this. I mean, of course, you know, as be it odd, Monday Night Raw, you know, she might say this in character like, you know, I'm on Raw so I have to say it. But I, ho I hope that's what she means. I hope it's not being for real serious that Raw is better than SmackDown. Because we all know which is the better brand. We all know. D I mean, hell, even the damn wall right here. This wall, that wall, the ceiling. I mean, it, this thing right here. All this stuff that's behind me most of the time, the damn door. They know SmackDown Live is better. Then Monday Night Raw. Um, I want to talk about a group. So, 
I left my PlayStation on on the WWE Network. I fell asleep watching NXT TakeOver Brooklyn Part 2. Upper 2. Somehow it got, when I woke up and everything, it was at NXT, one of the NXTs. And it was the build before uh, this last TakeOver in Orlando. And Sandy was coming out. And Nikki Cross was facing against a jobber. And that entire match and segment of them coming out, I love their entrance. And I'll tell you why. I think they are amazing. This is why. The group, the way they come off from me, they feel really genuine. And they look like this, this group they have is what is... They fit very perfectly in this group. All of them. Eric Young as the leader. Nikki Cross as that woman that's fucking crazy and really badass. Nikki Cross. I I think she kind of makes that group a little bit. I really do. And um, I know I watched something from before the damn takeover on Lindo. But it just watching that. Because I haven't watched NXT television, you know, that much on the network. And I need to catch up. And I feel like I am going to need to watch it more and more. Because that is amazing. I mean, Sandy is freaking amazing. They could easily be a dominant force on the main roster raw or smackdown since raw's already got there joe owens possibly like i talked about last night pete dunn thank you guys for the big support on that video it's got 35 likes i think let's get it up to about 50 but the group sandy in total is very good very great. Eric Young and Nikki Cross, of course, make that group. The other two are there to go up and have their careers go up and, you know, get better with wrestling. But all of them as a group is amazing. I think they could be great on the main roster, on SmackDown Live, as that dominant faction. That dominant faction. So, uh... I don't know. I want to know what your opinions are on the group called Sandy. If you just watch them on NXT and stuff, let me know what your opinions are on Sandy. I think they are fucking amazing. Did Amazon ruin Fastlane? Yeah, this is what we're talking about. They could be. They could have ruined Fastlane. So the DVDs for Elimination Chamber and Fastlane pictures have already came out. We already know what Elimination Chamber is. Fast Fastlane has Goldberg, Brock Lesnar, and The Undertaker on it. So are we seeing Brock Lesnar attack Goldberg after the match tonight? And are we seeing The Undertaker, like I've already talked about, going to appear at fast lane and attack Mr. Roman Reigns. And this and the next thing, the last thing I want to talk about is Taker is supposed to be on Raw this Monday. It's been a lot of rumored and everything. So I am thinking this is going to happen. I don't know if it was a mistake by Amazon with the picture with Taker um, Goldberg and Lesnar. I didn't think Brock Lesnar would be would even up here on the show tonight. I don't I don't think he will. Why does he? Unless he's going to attack Goldberg after the match and say, "Look, look, oh guy, look, motherfucker, I'm here. You might have beaten me, speared me, threw me out of the Royal Rumble." But I'm going to be and beat you for the WWE Universal Championship at WrestleMania. So that's maybe why he's here. 
Take her, I guarantee you. You hear that word, guarantee you. He will be at Fastlane tonight, and I think he will start his match in feud with Roman Reigns by a simple chokeslam. So, that's what I think is going to happen. You never know, you might see another extra before um, Fastlane, but... That is what the rumored thing is. I will do a live stream on PlayStation 4. Um, probably some GTA. Then I possibly will do a um, WWE 2K17 before Fastlane. So let me guys know. I, I might, I'll probably do both to be honest. But let me guys know what you think of all this stuff. If you like this, TKP Extra Part 2 for your weekend for a WWE Fastlane, smash, like, smash that like button for me. Comment below what you thought of all this. And I will see you guys live tweeting tonight at team underscore underscore Lesnar for WWE Fastlane. Let's hope. And the last words I want to say is I, I'm not too excited for a pay-per-view. Let's hope it's a good one. Alright, see you guys.